Hey, good morning, old slicker. How's everybody doing today? Fine, I hope. Now, I tell you what, it's done got cold out there, so I decided to make a little bit of a different video. Hey, on today's video, I decided I'd share a little bit of information on how to calculate uh, BTUs and propane and uh, how all that uh, works. I know sometimes that's real confusing, so I'm going to try to simplify it the best I can in the shortest amount of time that I possibly can. All right, hey, and make sure, stick with me to the very end of this video. Uh, so I'm really going to show you some things I think that'll help you. Okay, we're going to get on the old trusty whiteboard and we're going to get after this. Okay, first of all, I want to explain a BTU. A BTU is a British thermal unit. It is not a temperature. A lot of times we'll say, oh, that thing is burning 70,000 BTUs. That's really, really warm. It's not a temperature. It is indeed a unit of measurement. And according to most appliances and manufacturing standards, is based on how much it burned per hour. So if you had something that said, hypothetically, if it burned 100 BTUs, it means that it would burn 100 BTUs in an hour's length. If it's at 30,000 BTUs, which is the heater I've been burning in here, it's gonna burn 30,000 BTUs per hour. Now, that doesn't mean anything to us, but we gotta convert that to gallons, okay? So, the next thing we need to understand is that there are 91,500 BTUs per gallon of propane, okay? Now, a 20-pound tank, a 20-pound tank is what you normally see on a, a, a grill, and sometimes that's referred to as a five-gallon tank. But don't put five gallons in them. They normally will have 4.6 gallons. Now, you can't hold to that, and you wait till the end of this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about tanks so you'll be able to actually do some calculations of your own and get, uh, uh, get more precise uh, on your measurements. So if a 20 pound tank, your little barbecue tank had 4.6 gallons of propane in it, that means that that propane holds 4, 420,900 BTUs. All right, now we're getting somewhere. So, that heater that I've been burning in here trying not to freeze to death, it'll burn 30,000 BTUs. That's kind of an average, kind of like for a grill or something like that. So, I've got 420,900 BTUs to play with in that tank. So, if it's burning at 30,000 BTUs, that means that it should burn for 14 hours. It's 14.03 hours, but 14 hours. Now, some people are going to look at me and say, hey, old Slick, I know that heater you saw because it was in one of your last videos. I have one just like that. It won't burn that long. Well, that's irrelevant. That's because it's not efficient. It's, maybe it's burning more or it's burning less, okay? This is just simply, I'm just showing you the math, okay? So another way to look at this, and this is going to factor in a little later, is that 4.6-gallon tank or that, 20 pound tank, if it'll burn for 14.03 hours, that means it's burning about 0.32 gallons per hour. So about a third of a gallon per hour. Uh, okay, now we're gonna look at this another way since it's not barbecue season, it's freezing season. So we're gonna talk a little bit about how you can use this math if uh, uh, you wanna try to keep warm with this, uh, this cold spell that's coming up. Okay, let's put this math to some practical use. All right, let's say you've got your cabin up in Montana somewhere. Just don't put it on Yellowstone because them old boys are mean. So, uh, and let's say you've got a, a furnace that burns 50,000 BTUs, okay? Now, you're going to be up there for three months. So, we're just we're going to say for 90 days. And during them 90 days, you're probably going to burn your furnace about eight hours out of that day. You know, it's going to kick on for like probably 20 minutes. Then it's going to stay off, you know, um, another... Um, uh, 40 minutes or whatever. So for 90 days and eight hours per day, you're going to burn that heater. You're going to burn that furnace at 50,000 BTUs for 720 hours. So if you say 720 hours times the 50,000 BTUs, you're going to burn 36 million. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> 36 million BTUs. So how many gallons do we need? As I said earlier, there's 91,000, 
500 BTUs in one gallon of propane. So you divide the 36 million by 91,500, you're gonna need about 393 gallons of propane. So I'd round that up to about 400. Okay, that's just an example of how you can use what, uh, what I taught you earlier. Okay, now if, uh, I, if you're still here, Hang on just a second, I'm gonna show you a little, I'm gonna show you something about these tanks real quick. That right there, your standard barbecue tank, that is a five gallon or a 20 pound tank. That right there is a seven and a half gallon or a 30 pound tank. Now, there are a lot of ways they say you can figure out how to tell how much you have in these tanks. But the best way is when you look here, this has, it says TW17.7. That is a tear weight. What a tear weight means is that you weigh this tank and, it's, and it has propane in it, you subtract that amount of weight from it. It's called tearing it out. This tank over here, the tear weight on this tank is three, I'm sorry, is 23 Point four pounds. So, the best way to see how much you have in one of these tanks is to weigh it, put it on a scale, or get you one of those things that you know you weigh fish or whatever on, weigh it full, subtract the tear weight on it, then you'll come up with the weight, okay? That's the weight of the propane that's in the tank. Then what you wanna do is divide by 4.2. Propane weighs approximately 4.2 pounds per gallon. So once you get your overall weight, subtract the tear weight, you'll come up with a weight, divide that weight by 4.2, and that'll let you know how many gallons you have in your tank. Because it varies on how much they put in here. Hey, another way to uh, find out how much propane you have in your uh, tanks is they make a device that you can uh, put on the bottom of your tank. Uh, I don't have one of them. I've never used it. But if uh, that's something that uh, y'all want me to do, uh, just put it in the comments. Or, and if you're a company listening, hey, send me one I'll, and I'll, I'll try it out for y'all. Hey, but uh, otherwise, man, I, I, hope this helped. I hope this helped somebody. But uh, hey, I, if not, hey, I just want you to know one thing, man. God loves you so does old Slick. But you know, just like old Slick, sometimes we're going to do what we're going to do. So y'all be particular. All right. Hey, try to stay warm, too. That right there is a 30 gallon or that right there, that right there is a, Daisy, shut up.